Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mythlok with your host Nitin Nair. In the last episode we discussed the Arabian creature Falak which was a giant snake that could swallow the whole earth. Let's change the mood a little bit and move towards Native American mythology and Hopi mythology in general and talk about Koshari the sacred clown. Now Koshari is a sacred clown who is commonly seen at Katsina or Kachina ceremonies. He is a powerful figure in the community and at divine ceremonies where the divine clowns are let loose at important religious events with a lot of physical and tent shaking fun. These divine clowns have a long and noble tradition of behaving with extreme silliness. The Koshari are both sacred and profane and they are regarded as the father of the Kachinas. Clowns are made to be funny and humiliating and the carvers usually add their own styles into the making of the clown depending on what they see as funny or humiliating. Now most native american mythologies are linked to each other in which they have a lot of similarities but also their unique traits which sets them apart whether it's the Hopi or the Navajo or the Cherokee or the Apache or the Inuits they all have the similar character called Kachinas which are essentially spirits which are embodied into human beings during their traditional dances and ritualistic performances the image of the koshari shows him wearing a skull cap that features black and white stripes he also has corn husks sprouting on the top of his cap and also has black circles around his mouth and eyes he usually covers himself with a loin cloth and has leather boots he also has dark bands around his legs and arms and his whole body his face is painted white and also has black circles around the mouth and the eyes there are various stories about the koshari's origin most of these involve elements that are very important to people such as the sun rain and fertility however the power of the koshari can also pe- cause people to revere and fear him The Kushari are known by various names depending on the area they are being worshipped at and the tribe which is worshipping them. However, commonly known as the Kushari or the Kushare. If you are in the presence of a Kushari, you can usually hear him making noise with a drum and a rattle and is considered to have powers over fertility. He also has a dual role of being a societal organizer and a paranormal spirit. The Koshari's performances are serious because they depict offensive and unacceptable behavior. The clown can also target any member of the audience. Here he has an important job of protecting cultural customs. The Koshari are considered powerful individuals who work to maintain a positive and religious atmosphere within their communities. For example, the raven is a symbol of the Northwest Coast Indian's clown. and the southwest has a coyote or the miai whom we have discussed earlier in this podcast as you can see the concept of a clown who decides and who dictates the whole mood of the religious ceremony is not something that is specific to north american or hopi mythology many cultures have similar clowns or jokesters or uh, they are even sometimes referred to as uh, the naughty spirits in various european and modern mythologies these characters play a big role in ensuring that the general traditions and cultures are maintained and also has the effect of drawing in children at a very young age to participate in the traditions and the mythology of that culture thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of mythlok this is your host nitnaya signing out by reminding you once again that mythlok is the home of mythology now before we sign out for real i just wanted to remind you of another podcast that we run called the daily vanilla it's a satire website where we poke fun at society and is mainly centered around india and also different parts of the world do check it out leave us a like a subscribe or a review and let us know how we can make both these podcasts even better for you